Hello and welcome to this course. In this course, we're going to learn how we can generate the photorealistic images using the AI in our PHP application. And we're going to save these images in our database and as well as in our project folder that we can use later. So we are going to basically use two AI model to generate images for our PHP application using DALI from OpenAI and Stable Diffusion for Stability.ai. And we're going to also add more APIs in the future updates. So here we allow users to generate AI generated images using these two buttons. From here, user can generate a random images using a random prompt we store in our database that we used here to actually generate the image. And let's generate an image so you can see what we are building in this course. Let's say a portrait of a dog in a library. Now click on the generate button, it display the loader, now it will display the image. And as you can see, it successfully generated the image right here. As you can see, we have this dog in a library and we can see this image is in the gallery. Just click on this gallery link right here. And here you can see all the images user generated right here. If you hover on the image, you can see what prompt user used to generate. And here is a model name user used to generate. And also we provide option to download the image by clicking on this download icon. So when user click on this download icon, we're going to force the client to download the file. So let's download this file. And as you can see, it successfully downloaded the file. Click on the file and see the image as you can see. So we have this photorealistic image of our dog. And we can also use this search box to filter our images. So let's say dog, as you can see, all the image that includes dog is right here, as you can see. And if I say kitty, and we have the image with the kitty, as you can see. And let's generate image using this uh, stable diffusion API. And we're going to generate, uh, let's say, a playful dog. Let's say, playful dog playing with kitty. Let's click on the generate button. And as you can see, it generates the image with the dog and a cat right here. And we can also use this random generate option to generate a render image let's just click on this and as you can see it successfully generated a random image right here so from this course you can actually run how you can save the images and you can use this feature to add it to your website to actually allow users to generate the images or you can also create the WordPress plugin if you want. You can do a lot of things with this course. So hopefully see you in the next lecture.